I'm Karen Brandt. I'm a registered dental hygienist out of Indiana, and I am just on here every day while I'm stuck at home talking about home care. Today we're talking about bad breath. We're going to cover why people get bad breath, what you can do to fix it, some other reasons if you literally do everything you can to take care of your bad breath. <laughs> They call it a C motion for caring. That's me. Do you guys like my Pikachu earrings? <laughs> I love Pikachu. <laughs> I do. <laughs> what causes bad breath? Food. Uh, you eat food. It gets in there. And it's not the food that's causing the bad breath. It is the bacteria that eats the food because they're farting out and pooping out the food that you ate so they're putting their poop in your mouth and it stinks and it's like comprised of acids so uh it just doesn't smell good get that poop out of your mouth gum disease so if you have a periodontal disease that will definitely affect your uh breath uh periodontal disease usually a sign of having that is a continual bad taste and bleeding gums so you really, really, really do not want a uh, periodontal disease. It's not a good thing. Uh, it is really stinky. And I will say I have gone to public places like the movies and the movie has been completely ruined for me because peri periodontitis has a smell to it and I can smell it. You could sit three people away from me and I'll know you're sitting next to me and you just ruin my movie. So please don't get periodontal disease. It's the worst. It's just the worst. Having a dry mouth is a really bad thing. You don't want that. Drink water sometimes. I mean, if your mouth is dry all the time, you want to talk to your doctor about that because saliva is what protects your teeth, puts enzymes and proteins and coats your teeth all the time to continually keep them clean. Um, so I do this all the time and I think that's good. <laughs> Smoking and tobacco, that's just a given. It's stinky stuff. Medical conditions. So if you... Um, if you are brushing adamantly every single day and flossing every single day and you're still getting a pretty, like you can tell that your breath smells pretty bad, it might be an underlying cause. So you could have like a sinus infection, which happens to me sometimes. Food can get stuck back in your uh, tonsils. You get tonsil stones. Those are real stanky. You could have kidney or liver disease. Uh, and gastric reflux, and those are serious issues. So you might want to uh, talk to your uh, healthcare provider about those. Number one way to get rid of the bad breath, breath is to brush and floss regularly. I'm pretty much going to say the same thing every single day. So, oh, so it is an aura, oral microflora that is living inside of your mouth, and it's all warm and perfect breeding ground for them to live and party and hang out. What these bacteria are producing are called volatile sulfur compounds. Everyone say it with me. Volatile sulfur compounds. That's another word for bacteria poop. Volatile sulfur compounds. That's what they make and it's hanging out in your mouth and that's what stinks. They're going to be in between in the areas where you can't typically clean. They also live on the very far back of your tongue. So if you look at yourself in the mirror like this and look right back there on the base of your tongue, if there's a brown, green, gray, anything, any type of film there, that is just back to a biofilm just living right there on your tongue. You got to get that crap out of there. So mouthwash, gum, mints, those are short-term fix and ultimately will not fix the bad breath. So uh, you have to just be adamant and remove that bacteria because it is a war you're fighting with bacteria. It's not just there, you know, it's a constant thing that happens. Why didn't I say this one first? Visit your dental hygienist at least twice a year. That way you're getting thorough cleanings. Tongue brush. Who all uses a tongue brush? When you brush your tongue, you don't want to go in and out because when, <laughs> when you go back, you could gag yourself. So a lot of times people are like, oh, I gag myself every time I'm brushing my, my tongue. Well, because you're doing it like this. Okay, I might gag. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tongue scraper. You got your little brush on one side and then you got your flat little divot thingies, okay? So what I do is I kind of make all the, um, make everything loose, I guess. Eh? I'm going in and then scraping down like I'm brushing an animal. I don't know. <laughs> 
I named it. <laughs> you take your tongue brush, lean over the sink because you're gonna scrape this stuff right into your sink, okay? Ah, uh -huh. that nasty? If you do chew gum, chew a sugarless gum or one with xylitol in it. And I found a really cool xylitol gum out at the uh, Chinese market. It was, it was weird. It was like mint green apple, but it helps your teeth. So why not? The tongue brush actually reduces the smell of your breath by 70%. And I got that from the American uh, Dental Hygienist Association. So that quotes from up on their webpage. 70% brush your tongues. Something that people don't really think about is bad breath can cause psychological um, distress. Constant fear that people can smell you. It's not good. Uh, get some real friends. Be like, hey, can I breathe in your mouth? Do I smell bad? And let them answer you truthfully and get it taken care of because it sucks. I mean